are so many firsts, lasts, and in-betweens. We're certainly not the last class to get a smile and a kiss from Bruiser walking across campus. We are never going to be the last class to begin our college careers by serving our local community and pursuing our passions. Above all else, come hell or high water, we will never be the last class to come to Adrian College and find a motivated and supportive community of students, faculty, and staff and leave with the skills and tools needed to be inspiring industry leaders and professionals with high hopes and dreams for our bright futures ahead. The people and the experiences that we are most grateful for are the ones that will continue us on this upward path for the rest of our lives. In the spirit of gratitude, thank you to my fellow classmates for being a part of this community with me. Whether we spent most of these moments together or barely crossed paths, you contributed your gifts and talents to continue the legacy of this incredible community. Thank you for prioritizing the preservation of the Adrian College experience and for continually seeking to develop the institution's ability to develop both the knowledge in our heads and the care in our hearts. Thank you to the roommates, friends, teammates, and peers who, although we have only known each other for four years, it seems impossible to think about being surrounded by anyone else in the coming weeks. We celebrated each other's accomplishments, became each other's biggest cheerleaders, and never let each other struggle alone. College has been called the most formative years of our lives, but I can say for certain that these last four years have included both the most amazing and most difficult moments of my life. One constant, however, is the support of my friends through it all. It is impossible to thank everyone who makes up our AC family. Together, you have each played an integral role in helping us achieve this momentous milestone. to be a graduate of Adrian College. It's a good day to be a Bulldog. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. on the threshold of a magical time in your life, a time of significant growth and introspection, self-awareness, challenge, and opportunity. A time when you will always look back at and say, you know what, those were incredibly special years. Never experienced before I arrived and never replicated after you leave college.
afternoon, everyone. And welcome to a Tuesday afternoon as we get ready for another game of Bulldog softball. As today, the Bulldogs will take on the Thunder from Trine University. I am Forrest for Neuron Play-by-Play. Directing is Dakota Schneider, as we are just about ready to get started here. Pitching here in game one is Macy Shang. Shang had a great performance against the Calvin University Knights on, on Saturday. Only allowed two runs and four hits and struck out seven. As she will face Ellie Trine, Carly Trine, and Macy Rocha. Followed by Debbie Hill, Tyra Markham, Emma Lee, Emma Rogers, Ashley Traner, and Scarlett Elliott. And your starting defense for the Bulldogs, Morosco, Lupu, Gerhardt in the outfield, Wolf and Ferelli on the corners, third and first respectively, Bagelman at short, Bork at second. As Haley DeChalk is behind the plate, first pitch to Trine is ball one and we are underway. to Trine. That's high ball two. Bulldogs checking with a record at 16 and four. Trine University has won 24 and only lost one. As Ellie Trine fouls it away and the count is two and one. Here's the 2-1. That's outside. Three balls and a strike on Ellie Trine. The senior from Kokomo, Indiana. There's ball four, and, and the Thunder has their leadoff runner aboard to start game one of this doubleheader series. And now Carly Trine, the right fielder, will take her first at bat. As she swings and fouls it out of play. Nobody out here in the first inning, just the start of things here in game one. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And the runner's going, and there will be no throw from Haley to Chalk. As that'll be a stolen base for Ellie Trine. As she will advance to second, now in scoring position, here's the 1-1 to Carly Trine. Swing and a foul out of play. And the count is now 1-2. Here's the one, two. High and outside, and the count is even at two and two. Two and two on Carly Trine. Here's the two, two from Shang. Fouled away. This has been a really good at bat so far for Carly Trine. The sophomore, also from Kokomo, Indiana. Again, the 2-2 pitch from Shang. Swing and a foul. Still nobody out as Ellie Trine walked and then stole second. Again, the 2-2. Outside, three balls and two strikes. As for the Bulldogs, their head coach is Kaylee Fox, assisted by Hannah Kapman.
Here's the 3 2 pitch. As Trine hits a fly ball to left center, and that's going to be caught by Jenna Morasco for the first out. As she throws back to second, the play will be not in time as Carly Trine flies out for the first out of the inning. Here's Macy Roca, the second baseman for the Thunder. As a Thunder, their head coach is Donnie Dankelsven, assisted by Dennis Smith and Sidney Foster. As that's a called strike. As Roca is a sophomore from Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Graduated from Elkhorn High School. One out here in the first. Here's the 0-1 from Shang. That is just off the plate. That is ball one on Roca. One out here in the first. Here's the 1-1. Right back to the mound. Shang drops it. But they'll get the out anyway. As down to third goes Trine. And that'll bring up Debbie Hill. Debbie Hill is a sophomore from New Whiteland, Indiana. She is also going to be pitching today for the Thunder. First pitch to her is a called strike on the inside corner. So far, no hits. The only base runner has been a walk to Ellie Trine. 0 and 1. And there's a ground ball, base hit to right center, and Trine will score for the first run. And going to second is Hill, and she'll make it. An RBI double for Debbie Hill as Trine scores, and the Thunder takes a 1 0 lead in the first inning. Here's Tyra Markham. She swings and fouls on the first pitch from Shang. As the Thunder has a 1-0 lead on an RBI double from Debbie Hill. Owen one on Markham. In there for strike two. As Markham is a freshman from, from Goshen, Indiana. Plays first base for the Thunder. 0-2 from Shang. That's low and missed on the outside corner for ball one. One and two from Shang. As Markham just got a piece of that one. Markham right now is a designated player and also plays first base. And that is foul tipped, but 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 the at bat will continue. As the Thunder has a 1-0 lead, two outs. As Debbie Hill is at second. As she just hit an RBI double, scoring in Ellie Trine. One and two. And this time, she gets the strikeout. As she goes down looking to end the first inning, that's the first strikeout of the day for Macy Shang. As we will now go to the, bo the bottom of the first inning, one run on one hit, no errors, and only one left. As the Trine leads one to nothing, Bulldogs coming to bat.
And we are back as now we're at the bottom of the first inning. As pitching today for the Trine University Thunder is Debbie Hill, who just had an RBI double back in the first inning, scoring in Ellie Trine. As she will face Carson Bagelman, Taylor Gerhardt, followed by Maggie Lavelle, then to Chalk, Ferrelli, Wolf, Lupu, Morasco, and Bork. As starting off in the defense for the Thunder is Trine, Lee, and the other Trine and out in the outfield, Elliott and Tranner on the corners. Byer and Rock, Byer at short, Rocca at second. Elliott at third, Tranner at first. Phillips behind the plate and Hill on the mound. As leading thing, things off for the Bulldogs is Carson Bagelman. The shortstop. First pitch from Hill. That is high, ball one. Carson Bagelman is a senior from California. As Bagelman will take a called strike one. Wait, no, that's strike two, excuse me. One and two from Hill. Bagelman takes ball one outside. Bagelman had a terrific performance against the Knights, had a double and a single, and stole a couple bases in that series. Here's the 2-2. That is high, ball three on Bagelman. Three and two on Bagelman. Swing and a foul. This has been a good at bat so far for the Bulldog shortstop. Three and two coming up from Debbie Hill. As Bagelman strikes out looking on a pitch down the middle as Hill has her first strike out of the day. As here's Taylor Gerhardt, the freshman from Patascala, Ohio. As during the series against the Calvin Knights, she had an RBI double as she takes strike one from Hill. Oh and one from Debbie Hill. As Gerhardt hits it foul and out of play. One out here in the first. Nobody on. Oh and two on Gerhardt. Way outside. Ball one. One and two. Swing and another foul as, as the wind is starting to pick up here at Adrian. As Gerhardt's teammates are cheering her on from the dugout. Again, the one-two pitch. And that's going to be caught by Elliott for out number two as she makes a good play on a line drive. As here's Maggie Lavelle, who hit a home run against the Knights. As Lavelle hits a grounder to second, Roca will take care of the third out. And that's going to be a 1 2 3 inning for Debbie. Hill as she retires aside in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. 
as we now go to the second inning. Thunder one and the Bulldogs nothing. Here we go, is now at the top of the second inning as Macy Shane will get back to work on the mound. Allowed a run and a hit, but has struck out one. Is now Emma Lee will take her first at bat here in game one. Takes a strike. Lee is a sophomore from Cottage Grove, Wisconsin. Grounder to third, Ava Wolf, long throw. And that, it, and that is out number one here in the second as Lee grounds out to, to Ava Wolf. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Emma Beyer, the junior from Rochester, Michigan. First pitch from Shang. That's low and inside for ball one. Little flare in the right, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. As she'll go to second, and she's going to go to third. And she will make it there standing up. A triple for Emma Beyer. As the Thunder will have a runner at third with only one out here in the second. That'll bring up Ashley Tranner. And she has a base hit to right center. Coming to score is Byers. An RBI single for Tranter makes it two to nothing Thunder. As she swings at the first pitch. As Shane will get a mound visit from Haley DeChalk and the assistant coach, Hannah Kapman. As the Thunder now has two runs on three hits. As they scored one in the first and one in the second. And still only one out. As we're now going to be at the bottom of the lineup as Scarlett Elliott will take her first at bat. Ashley Tranner is at first. As the Thunder now leads two to nothing. First pitch. And on the first pitch, Elliott is hit. As the Thunder will have runners at first and second with one out as now we're back at the top of the lineup as Ellie Trine, who walked and scored in the first inning on the RBI double from Debbie Hill. First pitch to hers, tapped foul and it barely hits the umpire's mask. Well, that's strike one. Oh and one. There's a strike call on the outside corner. 
Owen two on trying. Owen two from Shang. That's outside ball one. Still only one out as Trainer is at second. Elliot at first. One and two. That's low. And the count is even at two and two. Here's the two two pitch. Swing and a foul. Hits one of the poles in front of us. There's a ground ball up the middle into center field, a base hit. But the runners, as each runner will advance to a base. And now they're loaded up. Here's Trine now who, who flied out in the first. As she takes the ball outside from Shang. Here's the 1 0 pitch from Shang. Here's a fly ball into right, and that is going to drop foul. Good effort from Gerhardt trying to chase it down, but it falls right next to her. That'll be a ball and a strike. On Carly, Joe trying. One and one. That's in there on the outside corner. One ball and two strikes on trying. Base is loaded, one out. Thunder has a two nothing lead. Here's the one two. Trying swings and hits a fly ball to center. Right center, Megan Loop who makes the catch. Runners tag. But then goes back to third, not in time. As Megan Lupu does a good job catching the ball and making a, a good throw to, 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 to Chalk, preventing the runner from scoring. Here's Macy Rocha, who grounded out in the first inning. Swing and a foul out of play. Here's the 1 0 to Rocha. That's low for ball one. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and, an, and another foul. And Shang is a strike away from, from ending the top half of the second. Base is still loaded with two outs. Here's the 1-2. One, High and outside and the count is even at 2-2. Two and two. Here's the 2-2 pitch, ground ball, and that's a base hit to right. As two more runs will score. As it's a two-run single for, for Trine. Gives the Thunder a four to nothing lead.
or that was Roca, that was Rocha who hit the two run single, my apologies. That'll bring up Debbie Hill. As the Trident now leads four to nothing. It's Macy Rocha just scored in two more runs to extend the lead for the Thunder. One and oh on Debbie Hill as she takes a strike. Hill in the first inning gave the Thunder a one nothing lead on an RBI double. Here's the one one. And that's going to roll foul. Is that strike two? A ball and two strikes on Debbie Hill. That's outside for ball two. Count is now even. Thunder has a 4 nothing lead now. As, as they have runners at the corners with two outs. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Outside, as we have a full count now. This has been a good inning for the Thunder. 3-2. and two. Swing and a miss. Struck her out. Swinging. Shane gets her second strikeout, but gives up three more runs. Two of them from a two-run single from Rocha, as we will now go to the bottom of the second inning. Thunder leads 4-0 with five hits. We'll be right back right after this. There's so many firsts, lasts, and in-betweens. We're certainly not the last class to get a smile and a kiss from Bruiser walking across campus. We are never going to be the last class to begin our college careers by serving our local community and pursuing our passions. Above all else, come hell or high water, we will never be the last class to come to Adrian College and find a motivated and supportive community of students, faculty, and staff and leave with the skills and tools needed to be inspiring industry leaders and professionals with high hopes and dreams for our bright futures ahead. The people and the experiences that we are most grateful for are the ones that will continue us on this upward path for the rest of our lives. In the spirit of gratitude, thank you to my fellow classmates for being a part of this community with me. Whether we spent most of these moments together or barely crossed paths, you contributed your gifts and talents to continue the legacy of this incredible community. Thank you for prioritizing the preservation of the Adrian College experience and for continually seeking to develop the institution's ability to develop both the knowledge in our heads and the care. Here we go now at the bottom of the second. The Thunder has a 4 nothing lead. As the catcher, Haley DeChalk, who has been named the position player of the week. Congratulations to her. First pitch from Hill. That's ball one. Is on Saturday against Calvin DeChalk. Hit a three-run home run in the first inning of game two. As the Bulldogs ended up sweeping the Knights that day. One and, one and oh. That's 2-0 oh on DeChalk. The graduate student from Brighton, Michigan. As Ava Ferrarelli is on deck. The 2-0 oh from Hill. That's in there on the outside corner for a called strike one. Bulldogs do not have a hit today so far. And they have yet to have a base runner. Look out. It's fouled away. It's Debbie Hill had a 1-2-3 first inning.
struck out one. Here's a 2-2. The chalk hits one to first as Tran Tranner makes the play as she catches it on a line drive. So that's four in a row now retired by Hill. And that'll bring up Ava Ferrarelli. Ferrarelli is the senior from Harrison Township, Michigan. Takes the ball low and outside from Hill. One and oh on Ferrarelli. One out here in the bottom of the second. Here's the one oh. Swing and a foul. As you can hear Ava's teammates cheering for her from the dugout. One and one on Farrelly. One out in the second. As Ava Wolf is on deck. Here's the one one pitch. One and two as she fouls it away. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss, struck her out. Second strike out of the day for Debbie Hill as she gets Ferrelli swinging on a pitch that was up. As here is Ava Wolf. That is low and outside on Wolf. The sophomore from, from Washington, Michigan, graduated from Eisenhower High School. 1 0. Oh. That's in there for a strike at the top of the zone. And if Wolf shall reach, Megan Lupu waits her turn on deck. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That's in there on the outside corner for strike two. One and two on Wolf. Here's the 1-2. One, Swing and a miss. Struck her out on another pitch that was up. As Wolf strikes out swinging, that's two strikeouts in the inning for Hill. Now has a total of three so far, as she has retired six in a row on another one, two, three inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. As we now go to the third inning, Thunder four and the Bulldogs nothing. This is the home of Adrian College Sports. <laughs> Today, students, on the threshold of a magical time in your life, a time of significant growth and introspection, self-awareness, challenge, and opportunity, a time when you will always look back at and say, you know what? Here's Tyra Markham, who will lead things off for the Thunder here in the top of the third inning as they lead four to nothing. First pitch from Shang. Markham swings and hits it foul, and it will go out of play. As Farrelly tried to chase it down, but ran out of room. Zero and one on Markham. Markham struck out in the first. That's back up the middle. Base hit. 
as she will have a lead, uh, she will have a leadoff single to start the third inning. Zod will bring up Emma Lee. Lee grounded out in the second. As we're going to get a pinch runner, as Emily Wheaton will come out from the dugout. As she will pinch run for Markham. Wheaton is a senior from Kalamazoo, Michigan. As Emma Lee will, will come up to take her second at bat. Runner at first, nobody out. One and oh on Emma Lee. And the runner's going, and Lee bunts it foul. Count is now one and one on Lee. Wheaton, the pinch runner, is at first. Nobody out. Here's the one one. And she's, looks like she tried to go, but then hesitated as Lee swung and missed. Is that his strike two? Here's the one two coming up from Shang. High ball two, good job by DeChaw, keeping an eye on Wheaton at first. Good at bat so far for Emma Lee. Two and two from Shang. Runners going, the throw from DeChalk is not in time. A stolen base for Emily Wheaton. As she will now be in, be in scoring position with nobody out here in the third. As now Emma Beyer swings and misses for for strike one, but it looks like she's going to go back to the dugout. As Emma Lee struck out swinging. As Shang now has her third strikeout. Byer fouls it. Byer tripled back in the sec the back in the first. Excuse me, back in the second inning. Byer hit a triple, then scored on an RBI single from Traner. Here's the 2-1. Byer swings and hits one to right. And that will be caught by Gerhardt. And the runner will hold at second. Two outs now in the third. As Traner as she had an RBI single back in the second. That is ball one from Shang. Here's the one oh. In there, and the count is even at one and one.
Here comes the 1-1 pitch. That's in there on the outside corner for strike two. Two outs now in the third. The Thunder has scored in every in inning so far except this one. Here's the one, two. That's a called strike three to end the inning. Two strikeouts in the inning for Macy Shang as the Thunder will not score as they had one hit and one runner left on second as we now go to the bottom of the third inning. The Thunder leads four to nothing. We'll be right back. This is the home of Adrian College Sports. We are back as we're now at the bottom of the third inning. Megan Lupu, the center fielder, will take her first at bat here in game one as the Thunder leads four to nothing. As Debbie Hill, who was retired six in a row, will get back to work. Lupu shows bunt. That's gonna be a called strike. Megan Lupu is a junior from Oxford, Michigan. As Jenna Morosco is on deck, the 0-1. Ball one outside. One and one on Megan Lupu. Check swing. Did she go? No, she did not. As the count is two balls and a strike on the Bulldogs center fielder. Here's the 2-1. Loop who hits a grounder to second. Rocha will throw to Traner for out number one. So here comes Jenna Morosco. Morosco is a junior from Ray, Michigan. And that's going to be caught by Traner as Morosco swung on the first pitch. As Debbie Hill gets two quick outs to start the bottom of the third. Here's Felicia Bork. And if she shall reach, Bagelman is on deck. First pitch to Bork is in there for a strike. As Debbie Hill has retired eight in a row. Here's the 0-1. Bork drops a bunt, and the throw to first, and they got her. As Bork grounds out on a bunt attempt, as that is nine in a row retired by Debbie Hill. As we will now go to the top half of the fourth inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. Thunder leads 4-0. This is the home of Adrian College Sports.
continue to take pride and learn from Asa Mahan's leadership today. Top of the fourth now as we're now at the bottom of the lineup for the Thunder. As here is Scarlett Elliott, who was hit by a pitch back in the second, takes the ball outside from Shang. Here's the 1 0 from Shang. As Elliott hits a fly ball to left center, going back is Lupu, and it is gone, a home run. Scarlett Elliott makes it five to nothing on a solo home run. And here come her teammates. Zaz, the fifth run and the seventh hit of game one for the Trine Thunder. That'll bring up Ellie Trine, as we're now back at the top of the lineup. As Ellie Trine takes the ball upstairs. One and from Shang. That's high, ball two. Here comes the 2-0. Right down the middle for strike one. Here's the 2-1. Trine hits one to left as Morosco will make the catch for the first out of the inning. As here's Joe Trine, as she will take her third at bat. First pitch from Shang. Trine hits one to right, and that'll go foul. That is strike one. Oh and one on trying. One out here in the fourth. Here's the 0 one from Shang. Trying takes the ball just outside. Here's the one one. Trying hits one to left. That's going to drop for a base hit. As the Thunder now has their eighth hit. That'll bring up Macy, Macy Rocha. As Macy Shang gets set, first pitch to Rocha. As she swings and misses for strike one. A runner at first for the Thunder as Joe Trine hit a single. 0 and 1. Rocha swings and hits it foul. As Shang is ahead of the count, 0 and 2.
Here's the 0-2. Swing and a foul on the third pitch. One out here in the fourth. Trying at first, the 0-2. That's ball one. The one two coming up to Rocha. Here's the pitch. That's low on its side, almost hit her foot. Count is now even at two balls and two strikes. Trying at first. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And that is going to be a base hit to right. As the Thunder will have runners at first and second with only one out. As Rocha gets her second hit. As earlier, she had a Two run single with the bases loaded. And that's now going to bring up Debbie Hill, the pitcher. Had an RBI double in the first. As here's Debbie Hill. As Trine is at second, Rocha at first. One out here in the fourth. As Debbie Hill will take strike one from Shang. Oh and one on Debbie Hill. Here's the pitch. That's in there. Oh and two. Swing and a miss. Hill strikes out for out number two. That's going to bring up Tyra Markham. Markham struck out earlier. Hits one foul out of play. As Shang now has struck out five. Oh and one on Markham. Markham takes the ball outside. Thunder still has runners at first and second. Now with two outs here in the fourth inning. One and one from Shang. In there for strike. As the Thunder has scored at least one run in every inning except the third so far today. Here's the one two pitch. That is outside. Two balls and two strikes on Tyra Markham. Markham struck out in the second, but also singled as she's one for two. Swinging a foul of the play, and, and one of the fans makes a good play on that one. And I think he might have caught it barehanded.
Here's the 2-2 to Markham. That is just off the plate, full count. Three balls and two strikes on Markham. Two outs. The 3-2. Called strike three as Markham strikes out for the second time today. But the Thunder gets one more run on the solo home run by Scarlett Elliott as they have nine hits as they lead five to nothing. As we now go to the bottom of the fourth inning, we'll be right back. This is the home of Adrian College Sports. Today, students, on the threshold of a magical time in your life, a time of significant growth and introspection, self-awareness, challenge, and opportunity, a time when you will always look back at and say, you know what, those were incredibly special years, never experienced. And we are back as Carson Bagelman will take her second at bat here in the bottom of the fourth as Debbie Hill, who has retired all nine batters in a row. Will now face Carson Bagelman for the second time today. Bagelman struck out in the first. As she'll take a strike from Debbie Hill. Taylor Gerhard is on deck. 0-1 on Bagelman. 0-1. Bagelman hits a ground ball. That's a base hit to right. As the Bulldogs now have their first base runner aboard and their first hit. As Debbie Hill after retiring nine in a row, gives up a single to Carson Bagelman. Taylor Gerhardt lined out back in the first. Gerhardt hits it to right. That'll go foul out of play. Oh and one on Taylor Gerhardt. As home plate umpire calling time. As Gerhardt putting what looked like a, her her hair ribbon in her pocket. Oh and one Bagelman's going. Here's the throw from Phillips. Not in time, as Carson Bagelman has a stolen base. And Debbie Hill is going to, or will she get a mound visit? No, she won't. The count so far is 0-2 on Taylor Gerhardt. It's Carson Bagelman singled and then advanced to, to second on a stolen base. Owen 2 on Gerhardt. Oh, and two from Hill. That's outside for ball one.
Fagelman at second, nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Here's the one, two, and that's gonna get away from Phillips, and Bagelman will advance to third. As now one swing of the bat can bring her home. Now the 2-2. Two -two. Gerhardt check swing, did she go? Yes, she went around, strike three. As Gerhardt strikes out for the first out of the inning. Maggie Lavelle grounded out in the first. We'll try to pick up Bagelman from third. In there for a strike. Oh and one on the on the Vell. As she hits a fly ball to right and trying, she drops the ball. Bagelman comes in to score. As that'll be an RBI for Lavelle. As the Bulldogs score their first run. As Mackenzie Johnson will come out to, to pinch run for Lavelle. Now Haley DeChalk, the position player of the week. DeChalk lined out back in the second. As Mackenzie Johnson will run for Lavelle. So now here's Haley DeChalk. That's ball one on DeChalk. Actually, they will call that RBI a hit. Here's a ground ball to second. There's one, and there's two. And just like that, the Thunder has an inning-ending double play. But the Bulldogs get their first run on an RBI single from Maggie Lavelle as the Thunder now leads 5-1. to one. one run on two hits, no errors. And only one left, as we will now go to the fifth inning. Thunder five and the Bulldogs one. This is the home of Adrian College Sports. There are so many firsts, lasts, and in-betweens. We're certainly not the last class to get a smile and a kiss from Bruiser walking across campus. We are never going to be the last class to begin our college careers by serving our local community and pursuing our passions. Above all else, come hell or high water, we will never be the last class to come to Adrian College and find a motivated and supportive community of students, faculty, and staff and leave with the skills and tools needed to be inspiring industry leaders and professionals with high hopes and dreams for our bright futures ahead. The people and the experiences that we are most grateful for are the ones that will continue us on this upward path for the rest of our lives. In the spirit of gratitude, thank you to my fellow classmates for being a part of this community with me. Whether we spent most of these moments together or barely crossed paths, you contributed your gifts and talents to continue the legacy of this incredible community. Thank you for prioritizing the preservation of the- Here we go now as we enter the top half of the fifth inning. The Thunder leads five to one. Earlier in the fourth, the Bulldogs scored their first run As Shang will now get back to work on the mound. As she will face Emma Lee, Emma ba Byer, and Ashley Tranner. Now, 
Because here's Emma Lee. As she sh shows bunt, it'll go foul. And they're going to call her out. Here's Emma Beyer. Takes a strike on the outside corner. Oh and one. A grounder to the shortstop. Bagelman with a long throw. It'll be not in time. As Emma Beyer will have an infield single. That will be her second hit as she is two for three today. As here's Ashley Traner. She has had an RBI single and struck out. Ball, no strikes on Trainer. Only one out. And the runner's going. Here's the chalk's throw. It is. Two outs now, as we just got word that the out was called on an interference. As we now have two outs in the top of the fifth inning. As Bayer will, will now be back at first base. So here's Scarlett Elliott. Elliott hit a solo home run in the fourth inning. 0-1. Oh That's ball one. One and one on Elliott. And Bayer tried to to advance, but we'll have to go back to to first because of the foul ball. And the count is now one and two on Scarlett Elliott, who was hit by a pitch in the second and hit a solo home run in the fourth inning. One and two. That's high and outside, and the count is even at two and two. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Elliott hits a fly ball to center field, and Megan Lupu makes the basket catch Willie Mays style. As we now go to the bottom of the fifth inning, as the Thunder threatens but do not score, as they still have a 5-1 to one lead over the Bulldogs. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. This is the home of Adrian College Sports. <laughs>
And we are back here in the bottom of the fifth inning as, as we're having a little bit of a dance break here in the booth from Ava Farrelly's walk-up song, Big Papa. As Farrelly hits a grounder to third, Elliott makes the throw. That'll be in time. One pitch, one out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. As Farrelly grounds out. As here's Ava Wolf. Wolf struck out in the second. Swings and foul, tips it for strike one. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Debbie Hill has done a great job today. Striking out five. Has only given up one run on two hits. Oh and two on Wolf. Here's the O2. Wolf takes the ball high and outside. And the count is now one and two. One and two. As you could hear, chanting coming from the Bulldogs dugout. They were chanting 2-1. That is Wolf's number, 21, the 2-2. Two -two. Right back to the mound, Hill has an easy play for out number two. As Wolf is 0 for 2. And here comes Megan Lupu, who grounded out in the third. And if she reaches, Jenna Morosco waits her turn on deck. First pitch to Lupu, hits it up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. That went off the glove of Bayer. Here's Jenna Morosco. As she has a very catchy walk-up song called She's Country by Jason Aldean. Morosco lined out back in the third inning. And loop who's going. Here's the throw from Phillips. That's not in time as Megan Lupu has a stolen base. And that's the, sec the second stolen base of the day for the Bulldogs. One and oh on Morosco. Outside. Two and oh from Hill. Morosco Morosco takes strike one. Two and one on Morosco. Here's the two one from Hill. Morosco swings and it's a foul out of play. Fun fact, Jenna Morosco and I were in geology class together last, last year. Here's the 2-2, two -two. ball three. As we were both 
studying rocks and mineral minerals together. And now I get to call her rocking it at softball. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Ball four, and Morosco is aboard with a walk. And that's going to bring up Felicia Bork, who grounded out in the third. As Felicia Bork will bat with two outs. Bulldogs with runners at first and second. On the first pitch, hits it foul. As Carson Bagelman is on deck. Owen one on Bork. In there for strike two. Lupu at second, Morosco at first. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. As Hill ahead on the count, 0 and 2. Outside, a ball and two strikes on Bork. The senior from Hudson, Michigan. One and two. Bork strikes out swinging to end the inning. As the Bulldogs threaten but do not score as we go to the top half of the sixth inning. As the Triumph Thunder leads five to one here at Adrian. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back right after this. Continue to take pride and learn from Asim Han's leadership today. Thunder five and the Bulldogs one as we're now at the top of the sixth. As Ellie Trine, first pitched her, she swings and hits it to right. Taylor Gerhardt makes the catch. One pitch, one out. And that's going to bring up Joe Trine. Trine is one for two today. It's flied out and singled. First pitch to her is low and inside for ball one. So far, it's been five runs and ten hits for the Thunder. One run and three hits for the Bulldogs. One and oh. That's ball two outside from Shang. Two and zero oh from Shang. Foul ball down the third base line. Two and one on Trine. One out here in the sixth. Here's a two one from Shang. Trine hits it to right. Taylor Gerhardt will make the catch. 
as she makes a sliding catch for out number two. Two down here in the sixth. Here's Macy Rocha, who had a two-run single back in the second. She hits a fly ball to right. It'll go foul out of play. Lands by the batting cage. 0-1 on Rocha, who is two for two today with two singles and two RBIs as she takes strike two from Shang. Here's the 0-2. That's outside for ball one. Nobody on, two outs here in the top of the sixth. Here's the one, two. Called strike three to end the inning. As that's a one, two, three inning from AC Shang as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, but the Thunder still leads five to one. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. And we'll be right back. This is the home of Adrian College Sports. Thunder five and the Bulldogs one as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Carson Bagelman, who has struck out, but singled for the first hit it and base runner for the Bulldogs and has a stolen base, will now lead things off in the bottom of the sixth inning. As Bagelman will face Debbie Hill for the third time today here in game one. As Bagelman hits one to third, that is a foul ball. That's strike one. Oh, and one on Bagelman. That's strike two. Her teammates chanting her name. 0-2. Oh Bagelman hits a ground ball to, to Bayer. As she is out at first. One up, one down here in the bottom of the six as Bagelman grounds out to Bayer. Right here's Taylor Gerhart. Gerhardt is 0 for 2, has lined out and struck out. Will take strike one from Debbie Hill. Nobody on. One out. Gerhardt takes the ball outside from Hill. One and one. 
Swung on and foul out of play. A ball and two strikes on Taylor Gerhardt. Maggie Lavelle waits her turn on deck. Here's the one, two. Gerhardt swings and misses and strikes out for the second time. So here comes Lavelle. Who has who helped score in the only run so far today for the Bulldogs. She had an RBI single, or should I say she hit a fly ball, which was caught and then dropped by Trine in right field. As that's ball one. One and oh. Outside, 2-0 and on Lavelle. Two and on Lavelle. Here's the pitch from Hill. That's outside three and oh. Three balls and no strikes on Lavelle. Three and oh. That is in there on the outside corner for a strike. The chalk on deck if Lavelle reaches the 3 1. Lavelle hits a base hit to right as she has her second hit, and this inning will continue. That's only been the fourth hit of the day for the Bulldogs. As here comes Haley DeChalk. Haley DeChalk taking her third at bat here in game one. First pitch from Hill. And DeChalk takes the ball low and outside. As Phillips wants to talk to Hill for a second. The Thunder leads five to one. And if DeChalk reaches, Ava Ferrarelli is on deck. One and oh on to chalk. As Maggie Lavelle is at first. Here comes the one oh from Hill. And Hill just missed. And the count is 2-0. and oh. Here's the 2-0. Oh. The chalk hits a ground ball to Beyer. Throws to Trenton. And that's out number three. As we now go to the top of the seventh, Thunder still leads five to one. We'll be right back right after this. There's so many firsts, lasts, and in-betweens. We're certainly not the last class to get a smile and a kiss from Bruiser walking across campus. We are never going to be the last class to begin our college careers by serving our local community and pursuing our passions. Above all else, come hell or high water, we will never be the last class to come to Adrian College and find a motivated and supportive community of students, faculty, and staff 
and leave with the skills and tools needed to be inspiring industry leaders and professionals with high hopes and dreams for our bright futures ahead. The people and the experiences that we are most grateful for are the ones that will continue us on this upward path for the rest of our lives. In the spirit of gratitude, thank you to my fellow classmates for being a part of this community with me. Whether we spent most of these moments together or barely crossed paths, you contributed your gifts and talents to continue the legacy of this incredible community. Thank you for prioritizing the preservation of the Adrian College experience and for continually seeking to develop the institution's ability to develop both the knowledge in our heads and the care in our hearts. Thank you to the roommates, friends, teammates, and peers who, although we have only known each other for four years, it seems impossible to think about being surrounded by anyone else. Thunder leads 5-1 as Debbie Hill will lead things off here in the top of the seventh. First pitch is a called strike on the inside corner from Shang. Debbie Hill had an RBI double back in the first inning. 0-1. That's outside. The count is even at 1-1. One and one. Ball two inside. Home plate umpire calling time. Two balls and a strike on Debbie Hill who has also been doing a good job pitching today for the Thunder. Two and one. That is ball three. Three and one on Hill. Markham is on deck. Now the three one. Swing and a foul. And Shang is all caught up with the count, it is now full at three and two. Thunder leads five to one here in game one. The three two called strike three as Hill strikes out for the second time today. Another strikeout for Shang. That is her sixth. Here's Tyra Markham. As Shang has retired the last four batters she's faced. Ball one on Markham, who has singled and struck out twice. 1 and 0. Oh. Ball 2 upstairs. One out here in the top of the 7th. Yeah. 2 and 1 on Tyra Markham. One out in the seventh, nobody on. Here's the two one from Shang. In there and the count is even at two and two. Two balls and two strikes on Markham. Nobody on. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Whoa. Foul ball hits the net. As I'm going to be honest, I kind of flinched at that one. A 
Again, the 2-2 pitch. Low and in the dirt. But the but the chalk did not need to worry about that one too much as, as there are no runners aboard. Again, the 3-2. Check swing. And did she swing? No, she did not. As Markham is aboard on a walk, second time she has reached base today. Here is Emma Lee. Lee has grounded out and struck out. Then earlier laid down a bunt, but then was called out on an interference. As Markham is at first, Lee swings and hits it foul out of play. Oh and two on Lee. Here's the pitch. Here's a base hit to right field as Lee will have her first hit here in game one. As the Thunder will try to make an extension to their lead. That's going to bring up Emma Beyer. Beyer is two for three today. She has hit a triple and a single and flied out. First pitch to Beyer, grounder to third. Wolf picks it up. The umpire calls it foul. Owen one on Beyer. Beyer grounder to short. Bagelman will throw to second. And they will get out number two. But going to third is Markham. And so Beyer will reach on a fielder's choice. Two outs now in the top of the seventh. We are now getting a pinch batter. As we're just getting word that Talisa Chafee, the freshman from Gilbert, Arizona, will enter in this game for the first time as she will pinch hit for Ashley Tranner. One and oh on Chafee. Chafee hits a fly ball to center. Megan Lupu will make the catch for out number three as the Thunder threatens but do not score as their lead remains five to one as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And we'll be right back here on ACTV. Who's going to win?
Thunder leads 5-1 as this is the last chance for the Bulldogs here in game one as Peyton Russell will come in and, and pinch hit. as Russell will pinch hit for Ava Ferrarelli. Russell is a sophomore from Battle Creek, Michigan. And she also plays basketball. First pitch to Russell is low, ball one. One and oh on Russell. As she takes a called strike on the outside corner. One one. Swing and a foul. At strike two on Russell. Russell also plays first base, but she is now entering this game pinch hitting for Ava Ferrarelli. One and two on Russell. Russell just got a piece of that one. And Paige Stein is on deck. She will pinch hit for Ava Wolf. One and two on Russell. Swing and another foul. One and two on Russell. Here's the one two from Hill. Swing and another foul going the other way. Count still one and two on Peyton Russell. Here's the pitch. Russell swings, it's a grounder to short. And Bayer will throw her out. One down in the seventh. Here's Paige Stein. The junior from Ida, Michigan. Stein, the catch, she is a catcher and third baseman. And she's also one of our young life leaders here at Adrian. First pitch to her is a grounder right back to the mound. Hill will take care of her for out number two. Two down here in the seventh. As Megan Lupu, the last hope for the Bulldogs here in game one. And if Lupu shall reach, Marasco is on deck. So Lupu takes a strike. Lupu is grounded out, but she also singled and stole a base. 0 and 1. And she lays down a bunt and it goes foul. And the Bulldogs are down to their last strike. And Hill is a strike away from finishing a one run and four hit complete game.
Here's the 0-2. Low and outside for ball one. One and two. Lupu hits a fly ball to right. This should do it. As Joe Trine makes the catch. As the Thunder goes kaboom here in game one. As they beat the Bulldogs five to one. And what a job by Debbie Hill. As she has a one run, four hit complete game. As your final stats here in game one. The Thunder with five runs, 11 hits, and no errors. Bulldogs with one run, four hits, and no errors. As Dakota Schneider was your director today in game one, I am Forrest for near on play-by-play -play from Adrian College Television. Thank you very much for listening to our broadcast. Final score, Thunder, 5-1. to one. And go in love and peace.